What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video where we're going to cover how to update your boot night strap to 1.2 from 1.0 or 1.1 and Luma up to 8.0 from at least 7.0.5. This is a quick and visual guide on how to manage the files onto your 3D SSD card and update yourself to the latest to be able to have that extra stability and awesome new features of Luma 8.0, which include native 3DSX support, native input redirection, new menu, and so much more thanks to the Rosalina system module that's been added. This is all just going off of Plylux's wonderful how to update your boot nine strap guide, so I'll link that in the description. Check that out if you need some extra help or want some more detailed steps. Anyways guys, let's jump into this. First and foremost, you gotta prepare your files on the SD card. So put your SD card into the computer and we need to put the files on there in the correct order. So don't just jump and put everything on there right away because Luma must be added last. Download all the files in Plylex Guide. That is the Luma 3DS, Safe B9S Installer, Boot 9 Strap, God Mode 9, and Homebrew Launcher. We're going to get you set up with the latest homebrew launcher, the latest version of God Mode 9, get your bootstrap updated to version 1.2, and get you set up with the latest Luma custom firmware so that your 3DS is on the latest. Next, I'm gonna take the boot.3dsx file and put it on the root of my SD card. This is actually a really cool redone homebrew launcher. So we're gonna put that on the root of your SD card, replacing the other boot.3dsx you might have on there. If you wanna keep that boot.3dsx file, you might wanna actually copy it and back it up. But do replace it because we are gonna to need to be on homebrew launcher 2.0 to be able to use homebrew launcher with the newest boot 9 strap. Now you should have a folder on the root of your SD card called boot 9 strap because you should already have a previous installation of all this. But if you don't have one, make a folder called boot 9 strap right now. Now to open up that god mode zip file and we're going to extract god mode 9.firm to the luma slash payloads folder overriding any existing god mode 9.firm. Now our god mode 9 is updated, we're good with that. Let's go over to safe b9s installer zip file and also copy the safe b9s installer.firm to luma slash payloads also overriding any other previous safe b9s installer.firm file. Lastly, for this little spurt of file management, we're going to open up the boot 9 strap zip file and drag both boot 9 strap.firm and boot 9 strap.firm.sha to the boot 9 strap folder on the root of your SD card, overriding any previous files. We're not completely done with file management yet because we still have to update Luma, but before we update Luma, put your SD card back into your 3DS and we're going to start it holding the start button. So hold the start button, turn it on, safe B9S installer to update the boot 9 strap to version 1.2 from 1.0 or 1.1. Now it's going to ask you to press a series of buttons before it actually updates the boot 9 strap. Put in those series of buttons and then it'll update. Once it's done, we're going to hit the A button to reboot and it should reboot you into an error. Since Luma is currently on a version too low to actually accept and work with the new boot 9 strap, so now this is the point where we need to actually update Luma to 8.0, which Luma has support for the newest Boot 9 strap, but they kind of go hand in hand together. Put the SD card back into your computer and open up Luma 3DS zip or the 7z file and drag boot.firm to the root of your SD card, replacing the existing Luma boot.firm. Then we're going to put the SD card back into your 3DS and turn it on where you're going to be prompted with that familiar Luma settings screen where you can set your preferences. You should have used Luma custom firmware before so you should already kind of know what these settings do. So set your settings that you want and then press start. Boom, you're now updated to Luma 8.0 and Boot 9 Strap 1.2. You can enjoy nifty features like native 3DSX support for loading homebrews directly in the menu, or maybe even native input redirection so you can use an Xbox controller to play your 3DS with the added bonus of C-Stick support and Z-Buttons. Think about playing Halo Revamped on 3DS with dual analogs and triggers. 
I've done it and it's awesome and I totally recommend it. Though it still has a few bugs and quirks, I'm sure they're gonna continue to work on this kind of stuff, so just keep an eye out for that. I really hope this video helps some of you guys out if you need some visual representation on how it's done. I know it's kind of nice to be able to see it in action. Anyways guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, and I will catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out dudes.